Boss up on these niggas. Boss up on these niggas. Boss up on these niggas. What's good, YouTube? It's your man Spike and you know, here with the Dewey on. I'm ready to pick up some breakfast for me, my mother, and Express. You feel me? I just woke up or whatever, put some clothes on. You feel me? Because, you know, Spike Lee don't go outside. You feel me? Elitary's on, on my feet, you know what I'm saying? Got this hoodie from H&M, you know what I'm saying? Palm tree piece, Adidas sweat. This is from uh, Ultra Beauty, but we gonna let that slide. Let's go, you feel me? Back in this bitch, keep making hits. I'm back to my wrist, right? Tell them white hoes, I'm a beaner. I'm a get a misdemeanor, kill a pussy with my wiener. And I hope she's not a screamer. I'm going to pull it in the female bitch. I'm a different hoe. Pussy, you know, I'm a keeper. Yes, yes. Still ends up playing boy. Don't know much to say, boy. Pray to the grave, and I've been like this since the same boy. Never know the truth is. Y'all know who the truth is. Crazy like the movie, from that nigga Stanley Kubrick. Perfect time to pop up. What you like a hot tub? Clean up aisle seven, get somebody get the mop. Don't get shit to pop up. What you like a hot tub? Clean up aisle seven, get somebody get the mops up. They said breakfast all day, and they close at four. What the hell? No outside food and drink. Alright, so Express if you watching this, you love pancakes. You love aha pancakes. Or you love waffles better than pancakes if it wasn't for aha. So I'ma give you a Belgian waffle and I'ma get myself some French toast. Now it's time for me to uh, wake Express up so we can start this month, man. My bad for turning the light off. I was about to leave. But I wanted y'all to see my face. When I looked over, I was motherfucking glooming. So I'm about to wake him up so we can get the uh, mook bang started. Is it mook or muck? If it's mook, type M O O K in the comment. And if it's muck, say M U C K. Cause I really don't know you from me. But next clip on me waking him up. I got some food. It's in my room. A nigga hungry. I'm about to ask him, can I do this for myself? I might just give him his food and call it a day. You got myself talk to y'all, you feel me? Let's get a pop. <laughs> Alright, what's good YouTube? It's your man Spike Leak, the wavy boss in the game, you feel me? Here with that motherfucking Dewey on my head, y'all already know what's going on. Today I got mukbang. I'm gonna show y'all what I got for a quick second. The eggs in here. Just something slight, man. Palm fries, know what I'm saying? Hold on, get a, get a close up to it. Ain't trying to focus? A. Ain't my problem. Got some French toast and I got some scrap wood here, you know what I'm saying? This scrap will smack up. A peach orange, you feel me? They sell these at Chipotle, but Chipotle the only place that sell that pineapple orange banana, you know what I'm saying? That's the one I like. Let me get straight to it. Um, see, I was at work, you feel me? I uh grabbed the receipt paper and wrote my notes down while I was at work. All right, so I'm gonna update y'all on this channel for real. Uh, first thing on the paper is thoughts and feelings about reactions. I know y'all love our reaction videos, and I know that's what got us popular and got Got us even to uh, 2,000 and thank y'all for giving us 2,000 subscribers. I appreciate all the love, you feel me? It might not be a million, it might not be 100K, it might not be 500K, but I appreciate every inch. This nigga get On the real, 2,000 is still a lot of people, no matter if that's enough to make a uh, a stack on YouTube or not. It's all about appreciation at the end of the day. And one thing about me is I definitely appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate everybody that hit that subscribe button. But back onto the topic. Um we really we really enjoy doing reaction videos. But the only thing is we're not a reaction channel. We're more than just reactors, you feel me? I want to do a lot of other like I want to be a versatile channel. That's my next topic up here by the way, is versatility. But I want to I want to get my true feelings about reactions out. I love music. Like it might be some people out here that feel the same way that I do. But um yo waiting for him got my food a little cold, bro. Yo, scrap will hit, bro. I don't care what none of y'all got that much syrup in the cup, no. Mm -hmm. If we're a reaction channel, that means we have to rely on another source of content for us to make our own content. If Logic didn't make that album, we would not have that reaction video. If 
XSL didn't drop them freestyles and them ciphers every year, we would not have them reaction videos. I think I think XSL and Logic for blessing us with that heat, you know what I'm saying? But I want to do more than just reacting and stuff. Not because it's boring, not because I don't like it. Just because I know I can make more and I'm, I would enjoy making more than that. I enjoy reactions, but I enjoy a lot of other things too. And that's the next topic of this mukbang. Versatility film. I want to be the most versatile YouTuber. Okay, so me, I'm subscribed to like, I'm subscribed, I'm not going to say a lot because I don't, I don't know how much of them. A average person to subscribe to but I'm subscribed to a good amount of people all of them really inspire me and like when I sometimes when I see videos I'd be like damn like that's something I would want to do I know a lot about fashion like if you look on my Instagram you could tell like I I always I'm always looking good you know what I'm saying not talking about like my appearance I ain't hyping myself but I'm talking about what I'm Wow, like my style. I would love to get in the fashion fashion aisle on YouTube. That, I, that's something I always wanted to do, even before the reaction videos. I just never got the chance to do it. Like, I would want to make fashion videos like how I want to make lookbooks, hauls, fashion advice, um, pickups, monthly pickups, actually. Like, the people, when I, when I bring up fashion, the people I think of is like Eddie Wynn, Richie Lee, uh, Harrison Navelle, Jaden, Jaden Grungy, I think. I think that's how you say his name. Jaden Grundy. Edison got the lookbooks. That's that's who inspired me to do lookbook. Richie Lee inspired me to like talk about fashion. And Harrison Navelle too. Well he do lookbooks and advice. Well all of them got it. All of them got all the categories really. But the first lookbooks I seen was Eddie One. The first uh, advice videos I seen was Richie Lee. So then I got into the other one. Y'all already know we do reactions a lot. So I'ma still be doing them reactions no matter what. I just want more things on my channel than reactions, you feel me? Another thing I wanna do that I already do, but I love doing, I just don't do it too often, is vlogging. Self-explanatory, y'all know what vlogging is. <laughs> Sometimes I wanna just share my opinion with y'all. Like, if something go viral or some music come out or basketball talk or something like that, I could be like, my opinion on this, my opinion on that, how I feel about this. I could have music talk, NBA talk, like I could be like top 10 this list like top 10 point guards in the league or top 10 underrated rappers or something I'm gonna get to that video and like I'm gonna get to that video this week it should be dropping this week or next week um I just want to have fun on my channel you feel me whatever comes to mind I'm gonna do it's my channel I'm in I'm the one that controls what content goes on this channel and YouTube because they like taking down stuff, you know what I'm saying? I just want to have fun, do me, do what I express what I like to express. No pun intended. Yo, I haven't been eating at all, bro. But next thing on the list is consistency. To be honest, consistency is not hard at all. It's just that I really don't have an excuse no more. Me and Express just have very, very busy schedule, but that shouldn't stop anything. Every time we see each other, we want to make videos, but then we get distracted and doing something else or distracted because our friends want to do something else and we're like, all right, bet, let's go ahead and do that. But being consistent, not, not really that big. It's a challenge, but it's not really that hard. At the end of the day, it's not really that hard to be consistent. And I feel like if we were being consistent with this YouTube stuff, well, we would have it in the bag already. Next topic I got, which is the last topic, last but not least, is being different, you know what I'm saying? What I like to do in my videos, I like to try to do things people have not did yet. I still follow around trends here and there. And even when I'm being different, I still follow around trends. Like, for example, when the monkey app was popping, I did a monkey video. But you know what I did differently? Everybody was doing them rate me one through tens or them smash smash up passes or whatever but I went out the way and did a who do I look like video I haven't even seen nobody do a who do I look like video I haven't even dug in these yet cuz like 
There's no way I'm putting ketchup and mixing all of these together without making a mess. Actually, hold on, I got an idea. You know, you got, see, like I said, I'm different, you know what I'm saying? Who, who wanna think of this? Did it work though? Hell yeah, that worked, no. Lee got the motherfucking brains, too. Don't get it twisted. Man, that joint hitting, too. These home fries. This is a banger. I was not expecting this video to be done with before my food is done with. But I think I'm finished talking to y'all about, um, about my channel, for real. Y'all should expect things to change, you feel me? Because first of all, I haven't even been posting like that. I post probably like, I post once a week. I need to stop doing that. I need to do more than that, because... That ain't it, cuz. Ain't consistent with me. Niggas like DDG post like seven videos a day or whatever. That's beyond me. I ain't never gonna be the type. I'm gonna feel like if I do that, y'all gonna get tired of me. I feel like I'm gonna get tired of me. First of all, how do you even do that? Time out, bro. That's a lot of footage in, in a day. And then you have to edit all of that. You get tired of me if people get tired of me then i'm gonna start falling off and i definitely don't want that to happen but uh like i'm saying uh that's the end of this uh talk you feel me i just had to update y'all and stuff uh be expecting more videos in different categories such as fashion basketball vlogs and other things like that i'ma still keep it entertaining you feel me i'ma still keep it entertaining for y'all i feel like it's not it's not a way that i could not be entertaining in front of the camera, I'm my own person no matter what's around me. But, uh, Spike Lee tuning out. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button if you need. Turn them post notifications on. Uh, like this video and comment what you think. Oh, and comment if it's Mook or Muck. If it's Mook, comment M O O K. And if it's Muck, comment M U C K. Because I hear both of them. I'll see y'all next time. I'm gonna do some more videos today. Express in the other room sleeping, you feel me? We gonna get it popping today. So, uh, I'll see y'all later. Take your time when talking to a nigga, I don't waste none. Knock you off your feet and then I flee before the jakes come. Sick of hearing cases from these niggas who ain't face none. But I'ma be the nigga that they feeling when the day come. Thirsty for the pay, young niggas let it straight. Straight bullet hit my brother in his motherfucking face. What's fate?